The two-day meeting between the federal government and the organized labor ended in a deadlock on Tuesday, with the Nigeria Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress leaders vowing to begin a nationwide protest on Wednesday against the removal of fuel subsidy. The strike and planned protest by the organized labor slated for Wednesday over the fuel subsidy removal by the federal government may shut down the country and paralyze the economy, speaking on the planned strike on Tuesday after the meeting of the Presidential Steering Committee on Palliatives held at the Asarog Villa Abuja. The NLC President Joe Ajayro said the organized labor had no reason to suspend the planned national protest and strike. This comes as oil workers under the aegis of the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association began an indefinite strike on Tuesday, citing inhumane treatment by the management of the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, an agency of the federal government. Well, let's now join our correspondents in the Okafo, who is at the protest ground here in Lagos. Well, Sydney, please tell us the situation of things at the protest ground. What's happening at the moment? Right, Thank you so much, Ada. Well, so far, so good. Uh, the, pro uh, the work has been peaceful, and uh, police, you know, the police or the security agencies also have been doing good work by making sure that everything is also peaceful. There is no, no rowdiness, there is no issue at the moment. And as I speak to you now, we are currently at the Alauta Secretariat at the moment. And each uh, comrade are giving speech uh, about their demands of what they want and what they don't want from the present administration of President Bola Ahmed Tungu. And they, they, are, they are calling for that the increase of fuel prices should be looked into the matter of urgency. And at the same time, they said the electricity tariff as well. They say no, no to hike in that aspect. And they are also demanding that the, the increase in education as well should be looked into. And they say no to increase in tuition fees. So this is what is happening at the moment at the Alausa Secretariat. So we have uh, the chairperson of the uh, Nigerian Labour Congress, Fumilayo uh, Sesi, uh, Chike, uh, Comrade Chike is also here, and uh, the Auditor General of the Nigerian Labour Congress, PJ Adejuma, as well. They are here at the moment. So every one of them is giving their own account of what they don't want and they are demanding that uh, the, the present administration to look into the, the increase in fair price and uh, education and uh, electricity. They are saying no, no, no to it. So that is what is happening at the moment. So once we leave here, we will be going straight to the government office to assemble and see address Nigerians there. So that's the situation at the moment, Ms. Ola. All right, Sydney, this is supposed to be a nationwide protest. Well, I'd like to know, what is the reaction of people in the area? Have they joined in the um, uh, action alongside the NLC? Uh, sorry, I didn't, really, I didn't really hear you very well. The line was breaking. All right, but I said that this is supposed to be a nationwide, this is supposed to be a nationwide protest. At the moment, what is the reaction of residents in the area? Are they also part of the protest? Yeah, 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 sir, yeah. Residents are also participating. And even though the traffic, the traffic along the road as well, people in the car are also cheering them, dancing, singing, applauding what the NUC, NU, uh, pardon me, the Nigerian Labour Congress are doing. They are applauding them at the moment saying, yes, they should go ahead, go ahead, that the, 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 the suffering and the hardship in the country is too much. So they are commending their effort as we speak, right at uh, Alausa Ikeja. All right, Sydney Okafor there at the protest ground, keeping up abreast of the situation at the moment. Thank you very much, Sydney.